Who doesn't love a luxury resort? I love them. <laughs> and now we are on the Big Island showing you some of our favorites. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. And this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. Luxury edition. Welcome to the Kohala Coast, also known as the Gold Coast because of these luxury hotels. The Big Island's luxury resorts line the Kohala Coast. This is essentially from the Four Seasons up to the Mauna Kea Beach Hotel. You got 20 miles of this lava field that they carve these luxury hotels into these areas, but they have lush tropical gardens there. You got coves, like little secluded beach coves. You got old Hawaiian fish ponds there. It's like it's an amazing area. Like you wouldn't believe anything exists there because it's just so hot and sunny, which is the reason why they have the luxury resorts there. And then you have these oases of of luxury resorts. It's a, it's a really cool area to visit and it's the most popular area of the island to visit because of the weather. It only averages 10 inches of rain a year, plus a lot of sunny days. And it's a good central location to spread out and see the rest of the island. All right, here we are at the Four Seasons Resort on the Big Island, and you guys, this place is spectacular. So forget about like having one pool or maybe two pools, this place has seven pools. But what I think is the coolest feature is right behind me. So this is a 1.8 million gallon lava rock aquarium, and it's stocked with more than 4,000 tropical fish. And this isn't an aquarium where you can't get in, so you can hop right in and have snorkeling lessons with a marine biologist. That's pretty epic. So as far as accommodations, you can choose from very spacious regular rooms that are over 600 square feet up to suites and villas. So whatever you are looking for, they probably have it here. And for anyone bringing kids with them, they do have a kids club. It's the Kids for All Seasons Club. And it's not just a room that they stay in, they do actually also have adventures that these kids can go on. So this is in Waikoloa, which is significantly closer to the airport and to Kailua Kona than the other resorts on the Kohala Coast. All these luxury resorts on the island of Hawaii, we have links down below. Click the description to book them. Booking through these links also helps us out for some of the resorts. We're at the Mauna Lani right now. I'm looking out on the lagoons and look absolutely beautiful. The water is like turquoise. It's a nice hotel behind me. I like this one. It's very family friendly. The Fear My Orchids also next door. These are the two most family friendly luxury resorts on the Big Island. Here you got a big kids pool. You have a nice shallow lagoon out here with some nice easy snorkeling for the kids. But don't worry, there's also an adult pool. It's an infinity pool right next to a bar. It looks relaxing also. I love the lobby here. It has a fun vibe because you got outrigger canoeing activities, you got stand up paddling, you got luau here, you got lawn games. There's a lot of fun stuff to keep you busy if you don't want to go down the Kohala Coast or drive into Kailua Kona. You can chill out here, just relax. There's even a sailboat out there to take you out, maybe for a sunset cruise. So Bears property, so they specialize in boutique hotels. Now this looks like a really big hotel, but it has that nice boutique feel when you stay here. Let's take you down to the Fairmont Orchid now. That is a nice place. We had a lot of fun staying there. So we love talking about the luxury places to stay here on the Big Island, but now if you're looking for something to do, where to eat, all that good stuff to finish your planning, check out our itineraries. We have a link down in the description below. Our Big Island itinerary, Maybe it's my favorite. I don't know, it's hard to tell. We do all the Hawaiian Islands, but I just love the Big Island. There's so much to do here. All right, we're off. I just want to point out this lovely lanai, which I clearly have enjoyed sitting on this trip. We do a lot of excursion days and coming out and sitting, we only have a garden view room, like the most basic room that they have here, but <sighs> listening to the birds, sitting out, and we can kind of see the ocean. You can see it right there. Little and I has been clutch. All right, I'm ready. Let's give you a tour. 
All right, so we have been staying here for about a week now. And we're leaving tomorrow. And I'm so sad to be leaving. I just wanna show you some of the things that have made our stay really special. So the Fairmont is located on the Kahala Coast, which is north of Kona and just a stone's throw from some of the most beautiful beaches. It also has a pretty spectacular lagoon itself. We went snorkeling, played there a little bit. It was just such a nice place to walk around and take a stroll in the evenings, especially. The Fairmont is a full resort. So here you have tennis courts, 10 tennis courts. You have golf courses. You also have six restaurants here. So you have plenty of eating options, including a very famous, well-known restaurant Brown's Beach House. You can have a delicious fish dinner overlooking the little cove that they have here. All right, let's talk about swimming. That is Henry's favorite part of any hotel we stay at. The Fairmont, where the, while they don't have any water slides, it is a huge pool, so nothing ever feels crowded. It's a 10,000 square foot pool, just a few steps from the beach, so everyone can kind of spread out, go back and forth between the beach and the pool, and just have a wonderful day. If you're not looking for upscale fine dining. They also have Brown's Deli right there and they have a nice beach restaurant that is kid friendly and Henry really loved it. I love the tacos. One thing that is super special here is they have so many activities that will keep everyone of all ages really happy. So they have canoeing, they have lay making, they have, they have hula dance lessons. Fairmont is also a sprawling hotel, which means it's not like a high rise hotel, which is super nice. So it feels like you are never waiting for the elevator. It's very easy to kind of like walk around and enjoy the grounds. As Henry says, it's not a big hotel because it doesn't go up a bunch of stories. And I think that really just adds to kind of like the laid back, very tranquil vibe that you get here. All in all, we have really loved our stay here at the Fairmont Orchid. It has just been so fun. So nice to come back to a relaxing hotel after a day of adventures. And we got to spend a full pool beach day here, which was so fun. So click the description. Um, we have a link for you to book the Fairmont Orchid if you are interested in staying here for your vacation. Do it. All right guys, here we are at the Westin Hapuna Beach and the draw for this hotel, I have to say, is the stunning Hapuna Beach. Like, this is the best beach on the Big Island? Absolutely. So this hotel is awesome. It is beautiful. You have great views of the ocean on every single level. You also have two pools. You have a kid's pool and you have an adult pool with an infinity pool. You have plenty of restaurants on site, including the Beach Grill and a fine dining restaurant. And have we mentioned the beach access? Because that's important. But how does this stack up to the rest of the luxury resorts? We are heading to the Mauna Kea Hotel next. And then you have the Mauna Kea Beach Hotel, which is the northernmost hotel on the Kohala Coast. And what people love about this is it is private, it is very secluded, and it has a beautiful crescent-shaped beach that you can swim in, you can watch sunset from. It is, it is a truly beautiful spot. Biggest drawback we hear is that it's open in 1965, so sometimes the rooms can feel a little dated with the fixtures like in the bathrooms and stuff like that. Also, since you're so secluded, you're kind of limited to the restaurants on site for breakfast and things like that. So things to consider, click the link in the description below to learn more about the Marriott property. All right, now you have your luxury accommodation set. It's time to figure out what you're gonna do. Head to the hawaiivacationguide.com slash big island. And that's where we have our big island itinerary. I don't wanna play favorites, but we do love this one a whole lot. It takes you on excursion days around the island, it takes you step by step through some of the most awesome things to do. Definitely check it out. Pack that resort wear and welcome to the big island. Ooh, like this? Yeah, this yeah. it's my new wear. resort wear. Feeling I, good around I here. I need some. 